kia ora, o tēnā koe i whenu. Uh, I'm here to stuff my weekly expenses and my sinking funds. This is 290 I believe, I'm going to give it a quick count. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 140, 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2, 2, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 85, 90. I usually have 340 to stuff and the reason that it's a little bit less is that I did an online click and collect order for some bulk grocery items through the warehouse so I'll go and pick that up later on today let's have a look at the change situation that's not bad I don't know why I opened that I don't need it right now we'll count this later but let's get on and stuff my um, my wallet. So I have three categories in there. Food is going to get 80. Three, four, six, eight. So alongside that, $50 I've spent, my budget was 130 for food this week. Petrol is going to get its regular 40. And fun money is going to get... If you're new here, fun is kind of a um, catch-all category. I fund um, takeaways and snacks for my kids out of that. But I do have an envelope in my sinking funds binder for um, saving for the holidays. So there's that. Now we're on to my daughter's allowance she of course gets $14 because she's 14 so let me just change this okay so that's five dollars in coins four goes into four and the ten goes into her little envelope so she's set up for the week and that one dollar I'll put into my stuffing elsewhere well, let's get into this is what some people call a revolving binder or a short term binder um, it's a sort of daily needs but I don't carry it in my envelope uh, sorry in my wallet just in case um, I spend it on stupid stuff so a household has nothing and it's going to get $10 um, and two out of three Hot water bottles failed in the last two weeks so that'll probably be gone the next time I do this stuffing. Um, my personal money, my pin money, I'm going to give that 20 and that's empty too. Beauty this week is just going to get 5 so it has 15 now. Health um, was looking pretty healthy. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, but I went and bought vitamins and I had a scan. Um, so we're in build this back up mode. We're going to give it 20 this week. So now it has 10, 20, 35. Like 35 in there and health. They did find something on my scan. I had a, um, an X-ray and an ultrasound um, calcification on my rotator cuff. Yeah, so I've got to go back to the physio next week and find out what the treatment plan will be for that. Clothing has 15 and I'm going to give it a five while I was in the warehouse the other day. I saw some very well priced track pants, so I bought my big kid some, and um, she was actually delighted with those, so awesome. Giving, I'm going to skip, but it's got $10 in there. That's just a little envelope for um, helping people out who need it, or occasionally we have like birthday parties. Um, I want to buy a friend a birthday gift, so that's that. 
um, now my my long term sinking funds this is the big mama binder that I'm working really hard on dentist <coughs> has a thousand dollars on the bank um, and I am contributing to that with a weekly AP um, so I'll, I'll put a screenshot up now which shows you where that's at um, and in cash because I did a savings challenge I've got 20 40 60 80 90 115 and I'm gonna add 40 10, 20, 30, 40 so that I've got 155 all up um, and I'm saving in cash for myself to go to the periodontist early next month I've got about another hundred dollars to save so I'm going to keep the eye on the ball with that one haven't decided yet but I'm I might be funneling some more funds from savings challenges we'll just see how it goes kids fun is going to get ten dollars this week so that's going to take us up to fifty dollars which is not a whole heck of a lot but it's better than nothing 10 20 30 40 50 the cats they've got a bit of money in here they've got a hundred dollars in the bank and 30 I'm going to give them 10 but I'm very close to finishing a savings challenge there so that's going to boost this envelope which is why I'm only giving it 10 so it's got 40, 140, and hopefully next week we'll be giving it a huge cash injection. Well, not huge, but you know, huge for my budget. Uh, car. This is another one where the Warren of Fitness is due uh, next month. I've got $100 in the bank. I would really love it if I could pay for the Warren of Fitness, which is about $60 just with the cash in hand and leave that hundred dollars alone because it, it is earning a little bit of interest so you know in an ideal world um, I would have funds saved up for if the if I got had car problems so I haven't done as much driving this year as I have in previous years um, because of lifestyle changes so fingers crossed the car doesn't need anything I have looked at the tires and um, done water and oil so it's been serviced. Anyway, it's got 20, 30, 40, 5, 50. So just $10 to go and we'll be ready for that. We're on a fitness next month. Matariki is coming up. It's the 14th of July. Um, so I'm going to do 246 today. So that's taking the last of my money. Let's give that a quick count. So we're very close to having that fully funded. We've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65, 75, 76. And my aim is to have $90 uh, in about four weeks time, I guess. Three weeks time, something like that. So I'll get there and um, I will have the family over for um, a roast and maybe a family game night, get the cranium out, it's always a good laugh. Um, yeah, so any money that I don't, I don't spend or do it potluck style, um, I can funnel into Christmas or into my next um, small holiday savings challenge which will be Guy Fawkes. Alright, Christmas is getting no love but... Again, I do have a savings challenge going for it. Um, you know, and with all the other things going on in my budget, I'm not stressing too much. I've got 170 there. Again, in an ideal world, I would um, I would be about halfway funded by the middle of the year. So I'm a little bit behind on 
that goal um, but I am doing a savings challenge which should bump that up significantly. Gifts, um, the October birthdays have got $10 each and um, I was talking to them the other day, they're both adults and I think one of them is going home for her birthday and the other one is going up to the North Island to visit with some fun over there so they might not be around and I'm just thinking I might um, not fund them up to $50 each because they're not going to be around um, yeah I might fund them a little bit less and get on with the next the next two birthdays after that are my children so I would like at least $100 in each of those so all we've got left to do now is a little bit of a tot up of how much change I saved this week. So I've got 760 there. And that $5 note I'm going to put in my change jar envelope. Oh, if you were keen, I sell these in my shop and I've been waiting for um, new A6 envelopes to come in, which they did this week, so I'm working on some more. And I'm also just about ready to list some um, 100 envelope challenge boxes as well. So keep an eye out for that. I guess that's all I've got to say, um, other than if you enjoyed watching me play with my money, um, do interact with the buttons below because that does help get this code popper out to other people and I will see you on Sunday for my savings challenge binder which I wasn't able to do last week because I wasn't feeling well um, it wasn't going to be a big one um, and I rolled that money over to this week so come back on Sunday fingers crossed I get to finish at least one of these challenges at least one to be able to bump up my sinking funds. Hey, have a good week. Um, I'll talk to you in the comments. Kia ora.